what you see here is a small DC DC converter from MPS okay and one of the striking features is that you can see here that they have a ground cutout area on the on the on the top layer I will put their detailed data sheet so you can see better right so on the layout you can see here that's where they cut out the uh, the small ground plane out of the big ground plane okay and you can see the modification I will go I'm going to make right so I already scraped the paint of two different grounds and I put solder in and the next I'm going to test this from the conducted emission point of view okay to see the difference by using a continuous ground which I will connect these two grounds together and test it to compare with the split ground and see which one is better because the thing is if you attend their seminar which are pretty good I have to say always they have the very good contents there they always promote this kind of like separate ground uh, scheme and many of my clients use very similar techniques and they ask me if is there any really difference because what they found is actually they can't tell the big difference once they implement in their own product so this session is really to explore the concept of this split ground and see really does it make any difference from just the conducting emission point of view right we're not me measuring radiate emission just for clarity okay so you can see this board I'm only testing with V in and ground it's also an EMI point here which you can see that if you if I connect it on the back there's a filter there so if I connect it to the filter if I connect it in a way that the filter is connected then the difference I think you can't really tell any difference so I'm gonna only connect to the VIN which bypass the filter and then test the difference between the uh, two ground configurations okay so let's have a look the test setup I'm having as you can see is a close to automotive um, test setup right there's a ground plane the units will be placed here connecting to two lizards you know uh, is we, we mentioned this in, in, in our previous videos so that's our uh, conducting emission test setup and for today's test I'm actually going to use the uh, receiver from Techbox because it has a uh, FFT function which makes scanning like seconds so I can quickly compare okay anyway the, the main character is this one so let's test uh, this first so we put the DUT to the uh, test bench, okay? And I'm gonna switch on the power. So now it's the power is on, okay? So I'm going to perform a conducting emission ones, okay? So I didn't set up the limit line, but you can, okay? But I just wanted to quickly test it so I can, I'm, currently you can see I'm selecting pre-scan FFT sweep, okay? So I'm gonna single it, and you see the result from 150k all the way to about 100 megahertz. And see the speed, it's mad, isn't it? It's crazy. Okay, anyway, so we got the results, and this is the result with the separate grounds. So next, let's make the modification and test the uh, joint bridged ground, okay? But before that, I need to save this result. So I'll save this result, and then we're gonna compare. Okay, so you can see here, I joined two grounds together by having this big bob of um, um, soldering joint. Okay, but you get it. So now I joined two grounds, right? Well, ideally I would just use a continuous ground, but you know this is what we get. But let's 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 see the performance. Okay, so I powered it up, and we're gonna do a new scan. Okay, single single scanning. Okay, so we have the results here plotted and let's have a comparison between this result and the previous result okay okay so first let's have a look at the peak results okay so this is a peak results comparison we have the peak split ground and the peak uh, continuous ground which we just did so one is in uh, uh, yellow and one is in green 
actually it doesn't really matter because as you can see from these results at least from the conducted emission point of view from 150k to about 100 megahertz the results i cannot really tell any difference not even one db difference right okay let's have a look at the average this is the average result between the two configurations again it's the same it's the same okay so as i said at least this test shows you that from the conducted emission point of view this split ground actually does not make too much improvements compared with one continuous ground which makes sense to me because i i simply cannot see the benefits of creating this separate ground okay um but as I said, I'm not questioning their uh, engineers' efforts in creating these split grounds. In certain applications, this may well make a big difference. But at least in this demo board, and from the test we did, we cannot see a big difference. Okay, so that's the our partial conclusion based on this uh, simple test. If we had a chamber, uh, an echoic chamber where we can perform a radiate emission, that would be even better. But at least in this conducting emission setup, this is the conclusion we had, okay?